again. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Lucy's training and I kind of mapped everything out. I wanted to make sure I always had a list of what we had worked on and then your top priorities of what she needed help during this follow-up um, sessions. So uh, I know jumping up is a huge one. So I want to talk about that. So one thing to always be aware of is what is she offering right now, right? So if I look at her and I go, well, she's laying down, I'm standing here. So I really, really want to pay attention to acknowledging when she's choosing to do the right behavior. So um, if I just see her sitting, especially she's very good about like sitting and staring at me. So if I see her sitting and looking at me or just sitting and, and not looking at me, I want to make sure to acknowledge that behavior. So Lucy, hi Luz. Good girl. So I'm gonna call her over and just pat her for um, for choosing to sit. So I didn't ask her to sit. She could definitely try to bounce up here. I'm gonna do that same greeting, but I'm gonna um, get a little more pumped up with her. So, Lucy. <gasps> Hi, Lucy girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good girl. What are you good girl? What are you? Oh, he's just a good girl. Nope. Uh uh. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. What a good girl. Yes. Oh, this is getting old. It's so hard. So I'm really tempting her, right? I'm talking in the baby boys. I'm getting really excited. And to a dog, all those things are saying, come here. But I want to teach her that even when people act like that, we should still sit. So she started to give a little jump and I just went, uh-uh. Right, I just gave her the negative marker to let her know I didn't like it. Lucy, hi Lucy girl, what's she doing? What's a good girl too? Good girl, so I'm gonna pat her in love on her for sitting and not jumping. So the other thing you can do is when you have people come to your house, um, if you were worried about her jumping up, like maybe it's somebody she really, really loves, or maybe someone who's a little bit older and could get injured if she did jump, or maybe someone who's afraid of dogs, put her on the leash. And that way, you're in control. You can also be rewarding her for sitting, so you're asking her to do the right things. You have her on leash, so she just physically can't jump up on the person. And then once they're in the house and relaxed, then you can let them off the leash and, and let her go greet them, right? Once she's calmed down. So again, on the jumping, I want to acknowledge when we're doing this, right? I maybe want to practice, exciting greeting. So I'm going to see. I like the standing, but I like the sitting better. Lucy, Lucy girl, what are you doing? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Oh, that's a good girl. All right. So lots of reinforcing our sits and our downs. Our place is great too. Um, good girl, good girl. So the other thing we wanted to talk about on our list is leave it. So the counter surfing, that sort of stuff. So you wanna practice your basic leave it drills. And you can practice, like I would get socks out. I would get cups that had food in them out. I would practice with lots of different things. So. You know, it doesn't need to just be the food. It can be items that she might want to steal. So just a review. Good, Lucy, leave it. Yes, good girl. She's so on when she's working. She's really good. Leave it. Good girl, Lucy, girl, good girl. Okay, I'm gonna drop it from above. Yes, go to name and try to go for it. I'm gonna have her move. Lucy. Moving's harder. Oh, no, come here. Leave it. Try a tricky one. Lucy, touch. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Leave it. Lucy, touch. Too much temptation. Good girl. 
Good girl. Uh uh, leave it. Good girl, Missy. It's killing her. It's like there's just chicken just sitting right there. Torture, torture. Um, so the other thing with Lucy is I set up lots of booby traps, right? So booby trap is where I put stuff out, but I'm like very aware that she's probably gonna try to steal it. So this is my bag that has, I don't wanna touch it too much because it has bitter apple, it's, it's dry, but bitter apple will still taste. And if you get it on your hands and then like touch your mouth, you will taste it. So this little baby sock, Kid sock has uh, bitter apple on it. My paper towels. So I would set these like hanging off of the table and on the floor. So I basically, the, the towels, I would let her, I wouldn't say anything. I would just kind of act like I didn't notice. And what she would do, the ones that have bitter apple, is she would get it and then be like, oh, oh terrible, and she would spit them out. So. Just kind of letting her do whatever. If I had said leave it, I would then like make sure she did leave it. A bunch of little kids and towels. So if you do the bitter apple, you might put gloves on. If you're doing like new bitter apple stuff, just so you don't get on your hands. Uh, wash your hands really well. Sometimes I put lotion over my hands first. Because it will taste bad, and it tastes bad afterwards, too. Good girl. This is like, uh-uh, leave it, drop it. Good girl. So she picked up a little bitty one that's definitely, um, she could swallow it. She swallows any of these, but see what she chooses. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. Good girl. So uh, right now she's like, oh, we're training. So she's, you know, definitely focused. But I would leave these out. So when we were just hanging out playing, um, I would leave these out so that I was always ready to have her drop it. Or, um, you know, if she started nosing it too much to say leave it. Good girl. Okay. 